Hi Frank, uh, this is just a quick video to show you how the Numbrella software can facilitate a deeper impact at trade shows. Um, so the app itself, what you're seeing here is um, leagues that are active at the moment. And I'll just show you how the protocol works. So if I tap that league, these are players who've been added to it. The plus button then allows me to get a new user. So if you imagine this user has just played Numberella at um, a trade show as per the video I sent you, then if I put them in here, I'm just going to make up a name. Um, the username I can just do Alex S. And let's say they won 200 ant coins playing Numberella. I submit that. And it then generates a QR code, as you can see here. Now that QR code then gets scanned by the um, the user with their phone, and they're going to enter the league. So what you're seeing now is from the perspective of the user who's just played Numberella. So having downloaded the Numberella app for free onto their device, available on Android or iOS, they click it. Um, and then they go to sign up and if they sign up as a student then they're given this blank screen so the code that was just generated on the admins phone is scanned like that and then we can see that the details are in here they add their email address um, which we can put in here and we can get them logged into the system and they get this uh, uh, interface which shows where their score is and where they are in the league so um, the uh, the top of the league would be the person who gets the prize at the end of the day or whatever time period we specify um, having been logged into the system they're then able to take a quiz and you can see that quiz now what we're looking at here is the number of the quiz platform and the quiz is about to start any user who's been signed up in the way that I've shown you will receive this on their phone and they'll receive a status notification telling them that this is about to happen. When the quiz starts, the subject matter can be of our choosing. So for example, although this quiz is about South American content, the quiz could be about the history of Casio. And so we will click a link, whichever link we decide to supply, and it could take us, for example, to the Casio Wikipedia page. The questions in the quiz would be on the subject of Casio, and the user would then need to read through whatever document you chose to profile in order to find their answers. And I think this would be a fabulous way to increase the knowledge of the consumer about the brand. Um, deepen their affection for it, most likely, because when we tell a story about a brand, we raise the customer affection for it. And when you combine that with a prize given at the end of the day, or even emailed if people have left the trade show, um, then I think you get quite a compelling system for deepening, increasing, augmenting, enhancing the impact that you can have at a trade show as a brand. So having entered Alex Smith into the league, we can see him here. So this is the control center where whoever's manning the stand is then able to administrate. And one of the things that we can do from here is that we can send a notification um, to, our, to our players. So if I choose here I'm going to choose um, leagues and then I can choose the bet 2020 league which is the one Alex is in and I can send a message hello Alex thank you for playing on the thank you for playing Numberella at the Casio stand and if I send that message then we'll see it pop up just in a second over here so we've used this strategy successfully at trade shows, and we found that if the prize is significantly interesting, you'll get a really high percentage of people who've played the game, playing the quiz and staying active 
And because you're giving them an experience which they've enjoyed, follow-ups to them tend to be successful. We ran a big Twitter-based quiz about six weeks after ISTE 2018, and we had a really encouraging amount of interaction in that quiz. So this is a system which could work really well, I think.